Black metal has to be extreme in its sound and it's the feeling you often have heard so much about when people talk about black metal. It's something you feel and kind of a way of life more than an image. Traditionally, it is just a name for uh, like metal with satanic lyrics, but that's totally out of date. It's, it's, it's not only about the music, it's also about uh, a lifestyle uh, that is uh, in, uh, going hand in hand with the, with the music. So if black metal is evil, okay. Then we play in an evil Christian black metal band. By the old definition of black metal, you could have a, a black metal that sounded like country, <laughs> if it was satanic. It is uh, extreme music. It is uh, music with passion. It's uh, music with uh, feelings. It's, uh, for me, it's a music with a message, with a strong message. It was uh, um, some guys from England called Venom in the early 80s that they were very much into horror movies and heavy metal music. They, they liked Black Sabbath very much, but they, they wanted to, to make albums with um, satanic imagery on, on the covers and, uh, uh, and all these lyrics about Satan and waging war in the name of Satan and all this. And then the second album was called Black Metal, so that's where this term comes from. Then, um, during the early 90s, it de developed into a, a musical style of its own, its own in mostly in Norway and Sweden. It was um, a band called Mayhem, uh, and the leader of Mayhem called himself Euronymous. Uh, and he was quite a strong character with a lot of ideas, quite extreme ideas, and uh, he was good at uh, selling himself. And he had a, a record story in Oslo uh, called Helvete. Uh, and they also had some kind of room where, where these uh, black metal musicians met and talked about how real black metal should be. When um, Nuclear Blast decided to release Mortification, which was uh, one of the first Christian death metal bands, there was a lot of boycotts going on. And then, of course, Nuclear Blast doesn't want anyone to decide what they should release, so then they released Horde. I started the Horde project because I wanted to shine some light into the darkness. I wanted to offer the black metal community um, an alternative, a different way of looking at the world, and all the darkness and the evil um, music that was coming out of Scandinavia in the early 1990s. I wanted to offer an alternative to that, a light version of that. Back in the early 1990s, looking all the way from Australia here over to Scandinavia and Norway and, and those countries, all I saw was black darkness um, in terms of the black metal culture. It was just so heavy and so evil and so oppressive and just so negative. The first Christian black metal that I, <laughs> I got hold of was Horde and Antestor. And I think it was very much thanks to those two bands that the scene really developed. The response from the, the black metal community when Heligas Vat was released was quite negative. Um, the black metal community certainly were, were pretty upset about it, pretty angry about it. Uh, there were some death threats and uh, some people were quite upset about it. 
the Christian people were quite excited about it. They uh, had the opportunity to listen to something new and something different and something they hadn't been exposed to before. It was never really intended for that purpose. It was more to shine some light into the darkness, as I said earlier, and to get a positive message out into the black metal community. really up to uh, anyone to call our style whatever they like but on the other, other hand you can't uh, you can't deny the fact that our style sounds like black metal holy un black metal it's not black metal it sounds like black metal it has all the musical attributes of black metal the shrill buzzsaw guitars the extreme shrill screamy vocals, the minimalist production, the blast beats, all of that stuff. But it has lyrics about God instead of lyrics about Satan and lyrics about darkness. So it can never ever be classified as black metal because black metal is satanic metal. Black metal is about Satan, it's about that dark, evil, grim, horrible feeling. Um, but unblack metal is of course the opposite to that. Uh, which is lyrics about God, even though it sounds the same. And I think the reason why, for example, Christian black metal musicians use the term black metal is that they, they say that this is the type of music we are playing. Uh, and the music in itself isn't satanic. No, no music is ideological or religious in itself. You can use it for, for a lot of different messages. They, they, instead, they just called it black metal because that's the style they were playing in. And then, of course, it's, they put the term Christian black metal to it. <laughs> Somehow define it out, out of um, this satanic dungeon. <laughs> we tried to, uh, to, to, take, uh, to take the music into a new uh, dimension of brutality. Uh, we still wanted to find our own way to uh, to play brutal black metal. A lot of bands are are focused on the uh, the sacrifice of Christ, uh, the death and the resurrection. Very strong themes, uh, blood, <laughs> atonement. It could be a message about the important matters of life, oh, life and death. It could be a message of what's uh, inside you, what really matters. It could be about love, and it's about hate. People have a hard time uh, to understand <laughs> a Christian, for example, death metal or black metal. They either haven't listened to black or death metal and understood the feeling <laughs> or they haven't read the Bible because it is it's very, very black metal. Satanists who, who uh, or secular people, whatever, who, who uh, cannot understand the connection between the, the biblical <laughs> or the Christian messages and really grim metal music. They have probably, uh, well, another view of Christianity <laughs> than I have. <laughs> or, and Christian people who, who can't understand, they, they, they just don't understand. Oh,